Hey there, this is Joffrey and I'm making this video so I can explain the functionalities of the app. So this CallRail app basically is the app which we have connected to CallRail. So whenever someone gives us a call for any reason, whether we are running a campaign or whether they have received an email or text message, so all those calls comes into the, pod, uh, into the podio in the CallRail app. This CallRail app is basically located in Marketing Workspace. Now, the reason we have the call rail app is that we can screen incoming calls. We can find out who guy, who is this guy who's calling us. And if we already have information about this guy, we can simply push it into the seller leads app. Now, this call rail app basically is connected with the mailing leads app and the campaign app. Now, this mailing leads is basically an app where we store all our, our contact information. For example, if we are doing any kind of a postcard marketing, then we basically send out the postcards and then we upload all that information of the guys we just sent postcards to in the mailing leads app uh, you know using import function and we import our excel sheet in there if i click on it you see right there i have imported seven leads in it so as soon as we import our leads in it it basically automatically creates a campaign if i go into the campaign app you will see that we have two campaigns running and if i click on the absentee owner here we go so that's the campaign we have going on so that's the campaign name this is the date we have sent out the postcards it is live and we send our postcards and this is the campaign tracking number so basically call rail give us a couple of numbers and we can assign uh, one of that number to this campaign so we decided to assign this number to this campaign so basically this call rail app is connected with the mailing leads and the campaign app so now let's just talk about the call rail app so as i mentioned before whenever someone call the call comes into the po uh, into podio in the call rail app and once a lead come in that's where the VA's job starts so he will come to this app he will click any incoming leads for example right here this lead was created 14 minutes ago which means this guy called us 14 minutes ago and as you can see as soon as we get a call Podio does a couple of things first it brings the lead into Podio which is already have done second thing it does is that it purse out the necessary information from the given data which call will give us for example you see right there it says call from Eric Downing we are cold calling for easy investment LLC so basically that's our tracking number and we just have given it a nickname cold calling so now as you can see that was the person name it automatically purse out the person name from this line and put it into the owner name it purse out the seller phone number which is one uh, nine one nine five one four eight seven one one and it has put it into the uh, best phone number which is actually the seller phone number and then this is our tracking number which this seller called us on which which is already has been pushed out and placed in here now third thing it does is that it removes any duplicate for example we already have this lead we only got only one lead in this call rail app so if this guy called us again Podia will create a lead like this it will have the same information for example the person phone number or the tracking number so as it will be new lead it will check if this phone number if this first phone number already exists in our podio or not if it's already exist it will simply going to delete the newest lead and it will simply put a comment in the call rail app like hey this guy called again so that's that's how we can remove duplicates now the fourth thing it is does it does is that as soon as we push out the tracking number, which Podio automatically does, it check if this number has been assigned to any campaign or not. If it has been assigned to any campaign, it will simply attach that campaign right here. Now, if I go back to my uh, campaign app into the absentee owner campaign, There you go so basically we have assigned it a number which is four zero four nine eight two four six three five 
And if I go back into my call rail app, you will see this is basically the same tracking number the guys called us on. So that's why we have this campaign attached to it automatically. Now you see, we also got a listen to recording link because this guy left a voicemail. So now if this guy is calling from this campaign, we are pretty sure that we already have their information. Why? Because we uploaded all that information in our mailing leads app. And we created a campaign based on that mailing leads. So now let's go ahead and listen to the voicemail the left. If I click on it, it will basically going to take me to that uh, voicemail. Now if I play it, I can listen to the voicemail. So now while I'm listening to the voicemail, this guy said he's calling us because they receive a postcard for a random 18 random street. Let me just listen to it again, please. Yeah, that was 18 random streets. So now you see right here we got a mail list search. So this mail list search is basically has been connected to the mailing leads app where we uploaded all our leads. So if I start, if I go in there and start typing 18 random street road, sorry. So right there you see, I already have information about this guy. So I just simply map this guy and now we can simply push this lead into seller leads app because remember the purpose of this app is to screen leads so we just screen this guy so this is a new lead there is no duplicate lead we already know about this guy's campaign that's the campaign he's calling us from so basically this is the guy who just called us now once i have all this information figured out i can simply click on push to seller leads app and it will simply send a copy of that lead into our motivated seller workspace in the seller leads app and from here the next VS job starts now for example if I go into my seller leads app now one other thing is that when you find the record and you attach it here now if I click on this mail list search so this is all the information we have uploaded in the mailing leads app which means we already have this much information about this seller now if I go back into seller leads app and you see all that information which we have uploaded has been sent into the seller leads app this way you don't even have to type the person name or the property address or any other information we already ha have about this guy so this saves a lot of time there we go all that information